During the service entry sheet, if you remember, we had to always enter the prices. $10 per hour for basic electric service or $20 per hour for advanced electric service. Just like how we maintain price lists or info records for regular physical materials or non-stock materials, can we maintain the price for services? Well, the answer is yes. How do you do that? So go to Service Master, Service and Service Conditions. There are three ways in which you can maintain prices for services. You can just maintain the base price. So electric service, base price $10 per hour. Or you could say for the Chicago plant, the price is $11 per hour for basic electric service. And for Chicago, the price is $12 because the price for a service could differ by city or plant. Also, the services could differ with vendor. Vendor 4001 ABC Foods or ABC Electric Services could supply a basic electric service for $11 and somebody else could deliver the same service for $9. So the price of a service is basically dependent on plant, which is the location that you're procuring the services for and the vendor who is supplying that service, right? So you could maintain prices for a service for any of these possible combinations or you could do it standalone. So let's see how we do that. So go to service, service conditions and click on add. And over here, you could enter the materials or services. So, elect serve 01. The amount is $10 per hour. And unit is USD. And electric service. And electric service advanced is going to be $20 per hour. And labor is going to be ten dollars per hour, right? You can save it now. Go back and try and maintain the same prices with plant or without plant. So, without plant is going to be like this. So, for purchase org US01, so for Vendor 4001, basic electric service is going to cost, say, uh, $12. And advanced electric service is going to cost $22. And labor is going to cost, say, uh, $9. Okay? Save it. Also, you could create it for a combination of plant and material. So for vendor 4001, if it is Chicago plant and for basic electric service, the amount is $13. So Chicago says it's expensive and advanced electric service is so much labor is say $12 and save it. Now, you could maintain this for the same vendor for a different plant, say Seattle plant, if you have created a Seattle plant with a different set of prices. This is how you maintain prices. Now, if you create, now if you create another purchase order, like so, ME21N, Vendor account assignment K, item category D, we call it pump repair for a quantity of one. And the services that are required are basic electric service, admin department is going to cover the costs. You see the prices automatically come up here, right? And where is this coming from? This is coming from the prices that we have maintained. So let's see what we have done in this chapter. Every time 
a service material was being entered in the service entry sheet or the purchase order we had to enter the price right otherwise it was showing that message so just like physical deliverables or non stock materials can we maintain a price list so for physical materials like raw materials or non stock materials we maintain the prices in the purchase info record for service materials we maintain the prices in service master we can maintain the prices in three different ways we can maintain a base price which is just the price for that service material or we can maintain a price by vendor and why do we maintain prices by vendor because each vendor's price could be different for different kinds of services so we could maintain price list by vendor and also we could maintain price list by vendor and plant combination meaning the same vendor is going to supply a particular material in the chicago plant at a particular price and the san francisco plant at a different price it's the same material or same service so these are the three different ways in which you can maintain prices for services and the transaction codes for that are all under service master service service conditions and these are the three different ways in which you can maintain the prices for services for a service for a service without plant and for service with plant and vendor right and these are the different transaction codes create change display and when you enter a po and enter the service material in the po for that line item the prices are automatically picked up okay that completes the chapter on pricing so we'll move on to the exercises in the next chapter